This old manor house reminds us that the Adderholm Company was established in this area already in 1668 with the erection of a hammer mill. Out of this developed an ironworks company which combined mining, iron production and large-scale agriculture with charcoal burning in the company's own forests. In the 18th century, competent owners expanded the company through substantial acquisition of forests, mines and real estates, securing the company's supply of iron ore, wood and charcoal for their blast furnaces, as well as water power for new helve hammers. New ingot steel processes revolutionized iron and steel making in the 1860s and silenced the helve hammers. Bessemer had developed the first process for mass producing steel inexpensively and through its work manager and furnace designer in Munkfosch, J.F. Lundin, Adderholm contributed to the successes of the Martin process. Adderholm completed its empire with its own railway from the mines to the ironworks and further on to the ports where its own fleet of ships carried the company's products, steel, paper and electrochemical products, to customers in every part of the world. With the 20th century came electricity. Adderholm's own power stations on the rivers gave energy to new electrical furnaces in the steel mills, producing increasingly advanced steel grades. Sophisticated machines produced strip steel products, wires and pipes. During our fast journey towards the future, enterprise, innovation and development has brought the Adderholm company forwards over more than 300 years. We are proud to continue to honour this tradition.